close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, watch it coming in. As it goes out, watch it going out. Try to stay with it all the time. Try to be in harmony with the breath. Keep a harmony between the mind and the breath and the body. In other words, make sure that the breath feels comfortable in the body and that the mind and the body stay together. When they're not in harmony, they go their separate ways. You're sitting here meditating. The body looks like it's meditating, but the mind is off someplace else. Or the times when the mind wants to meditate, but the body doesn't seem to want to cooperate. That's actually a lack of harmony within the mind itself. So try to bring everybody together here. That's when everybody comes together. That's when goodness can arise. It's the same with the world outside. It's hard for us to build anything, to do anything, without a lot of cooperation, a lot of harmony. This monastery wouldn't be here without the help of a lot of people. Even as you're sitting here meditating right now, the fact that you have clothing and food and shelter and medicine to take care of the body that allows you to meditate, okay, that depends on other people too. If people cooperate, okay, then you can build a lot of goodness together. If you don't cooperate, then the goodness doesn't really happen much. Little bits and pieces, but it never really goes anywhere. So try to do your best to cooperate inside and then take that lesson outside. As the Buddha said, for a group to get together and stay together with a sense of well-being and a sense of happiness as a group. There are six qualities. The first three are that you have thoughts of goodwill, you act in good ways of <coughs> excuse me. You act towards other people showing goodwill, you speak to other people showing goodwill, and you think back to other people showing goodwill. In other words, you wish for their happiness and for your happiness, too. You think of the happiness of the larger group. When you gain things or you share the, your gains, you don't just keep them all for yourself. And then in terms of your views and in terms of your virtue, you try to be every, on par with everybody else. And this doesn't mean we go for the lowest common denominator. It means that when at the very least to have the five precepts like we took them just now. This is why we keep repeating the five precepts every week. It's not that you don't know what they are. Everybody knows what they are now who's sitting here, sitting here. It's simply that sometimes we need reminding about how important these things are for us to live together here in the community and for to live together in the society at large. We need to have standards that we can all abide by. And then our understanding about what's right and wrong, what's skillful and unskillful. As long as we're on the same wavelength, then it's very easy for us to live together and work together and build a lot of goodness together. So remember that goodness isn't something you do all on your own, even when you're off meditating under a tree. Still the fact that there is a tree there, somebody planted it, somebody looked after it. You've got clothing. Okay, somebody provided that. And even if you did the work yourself, you had to cooperate with other people in order to do that work, in order to gain some reward from it. So think about the fact that all of our goodness comes from being in harmony. So have harmony inside. Make sure your body and mind and breath are all in harmony. And do your best to develop harmony outside for the purpose, for the sake of what's good. Because this is what makes human life worthwhile, is the goodness that we can build together. <clears throat>